Good afternoon, traders. It is Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, before I get into this, I, I just wanted to say something. Um, I had an email from a prospective customer, I think yesterday, and I totally respect his concerns and opinions. But what he was asking me was in these extremely volatile uh, markets, and believe me, they are incredibly volatile, uh, was I comfortable turning um, everything over to an automated trading system? In other words, you know, I, I sell an algorithm you put this algorithm onto a platform like TradeStation or MultiCharts, and uh, it'll do everything for you. You can go to sleep and let the computer trade, and it'll trade that algorithm exactly the way it's supposed to. And lately, that thing has just been raking in money like a money machine. It's been doing this for several weeks. And... You know, I, I've been thinking a lot about this, but I also replied to him. I said, the real danger isn't letting the algorithm trade using a computer or a platform. The real danger is using your brain when uh, markets get so volatile as they are today. And today is a good example. We had a terrific day, an absolutely terrific day. But I was just glad that I could sit here and let my algorithm do the thinking for me. Because if I had done, tried to think about what was happening, I would have certainly screwed everything up. Because what happened today, I, told, I didn't expect it at all. There's nothing that happened today that I expected, and yet at the end of the day, man, we're really sitting pretty. Um, okay, let's just look at the Dow first of all. The Dow did what I did not expect it to do after going up, what was it, about 1,200 points, thir almost 1,300 points yesterday. It um, backed off today. 786 points officially well that surprised me i mean that doesn't mean it's going back down i really don't think so but i would have expected you know probably another up day uh today and <laughs> speaking of thinking too much about stocks it was up here this is like the third 15-minute um, bar. So we're talking about 30 to 45 minutes into the day. And this is decidedly positive right up here at the top. I think this bar took place when the Federal Reserve announced that they were cutting interest rates by a half percent. And the initial reaction of traders was just buy, 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 and they take this thing up, and then they started thinking about it, <laughs> and that's always a mistake, but uh, they're thinking, hey, sell the news, sell the news, and so down it comes, and to show you just how volatile this single bar was, our, our open tr trade equity was, we were within five minutes of exiting all our trades from yesterday when th this thing hit the top here and our open trade equity when it was up there was like twenty two twenty three thousand dollars and in five minutes it dropped and cut our equity in half we ended up closing out positive eleven thousand six hundred bucks we lost, I mean, you know, we, I saw over $10,000 dissolve here in about five minutes' time. Now, that's volatility, and the algorithm took care of it. 
you know, I'm glad I didn't have to think about this. Because, you know, it, it, it's very typical. I mean, you heard what I said yesterday. If I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking when stocks get up here, they're going higher. Of course they're going higher. This is doing exactly what I said it was going to do. It's going higher and higher. And then it comes back down, and I'm probably thinking, oh, this will... They're, they're, they're going to come back, they're going to come back, and of course, you can see here what happened all day long and ended up down 786 points. I would have lost a lot of money if I'd been thinking about it. As it was, algorithm got me out with over $11,000 in profit. I'm happy to take that, and I could just sit here and drink my coffee and relax and let the friggin' computer do the trading for me. That, there's a real advantage to that. So, uh, enough said. I think uh, mechanical algorithmic trading is really the way to go. And, and in the long run, you're going to make a lot more money doing it that way than sitting here looking at these screens and trying to figure what was is going on. Okay. Uh, yeah, we had a great day. We cl I closed out. Um, nearly $12,000 in closed out trades, but uh, with this sinking market today, uh, we got into seven positions, four positive, <coughs> excuse me, four positive, three negative, but we're carrying almost $30,000 in open trade equity going into tomorrow and a couple of those positions were predictable one of them just the biggest one just came out of the blue and i'll show you that in just a second i think i've covered everything let's look at some individual trades um this first one is actually the smallest trade I'm going to show you. This is CVM, which is Celsi Corporation. And uh, we closed this out today. Yesterday, this thing pops up out of nowhere. We grabbed it as quickly as we could. It cl did close um, somewhat positive. And... Um, then this morning it pops up a little more and we get out of it. And I always like these kinds of trades because it's like we, we're getting out almost at the top. After we get out, they sell off. And that's always a good feeling. We took um, $4,600 out of Celsi Corporation. Now, this of course... This next one is one we can certainly predict with the Dow going south the way it did today. This is TVIX, which is, in effect, a short position on the market and overall market. And uh, it's going to go up as the Dow is going down. And we actually didn't get into this till after the midway point of the day. But we grabbed it right here, uh, and it kept going higher and higher and closed. Not on its high, but still pretty close there. And we have $7,600 in open trade in TVIX. And also, we also have um, UVXY, which is doing the same thing but just about half as much money. So uh, those short positions uh, together, uh, you know, we were showing about ten or $11,000 in open trade profit in those short positions. And now the one that just came out of the blue, and this is an absolutely huge trade, um, this is INO, uh, which is Innovio Pharmaceuticals. We've had some fantastic trades with this uh, prior, 
uh, and today was no exception. But I finally did a little research. You know, I don't pay any attention to fundamentals at all with stocks, but sometimes I get curious and do Google search to find out what's going on. And this stock gaps up this morning. That's enough to trigger our buy signal. We buy it. Initially, it went against us. Uh, if you had seen my post on this, you could have bought it at my price or better. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm getting the coronavirus. Okay, I'm just kidding. Anyway, you could have bought this thing for at any time after I posted it for about an hour and a half, and you would have gotten at either my price or a better price in it. So it wasn't like it was completely evident what was going to happen when I bought this thing. But you can see here what happened the last hour, 90 minutes of the day. It just screams. And this thing is, whenever it closed there, we're up $20,000, 20000 20 grand in this stock from where we got in right here. And I posted this on Stock Twits and Twitter for the whole world to see. And obviously I didn't budge this at all because there's, there's no buying going on here for two or three hours after I posted it. But now on the close, I am holding $20,000 in open trade profits. Okay, what's going on here? They have a vaccine called Vaccine INO4800, and they have announced they're going to start doing human trials next month for the coronavirus. Uh, in other words, they're, they're involved with the development of a vaccine for, for coronavirus. This is the third biotech stock that we've traded that has done something like this because of their involvement with a coronavirus vaccine. But I had no idea that that was going on when I bought this. I just bought this because the algorithm said buy. Now, I've, I've I'm probably talking too much today, but I want you to understand why I make money with this algorithm. I, I see this all the time. This, the thing that triggered our buy wasn't the knowledge that they were working on this uh, coronavirus vaccine. It was this gap up. And a lot of people don't like to buy gaps. A lot of people who sell these gaps, they think they're going to make money on the short sizes, they fill the gap. I don't ever do that. I buy those gaps. And I don't question why those gaps happen. But let me tell you something. I've seen this time and time again. This company has, people are working in this company. They, they know what's going on. And uh, legally, they can't go trading that stock. That would be illegal. But hey, you know, they have brother-in-laws, they have aunts, they have uncles, they have friends. And all those people hear about this, may hear about what's going on with this company. And so what do they do? They go in and they buy the stock. And that's what drives this, causes this gap. It's insider buying that uh, causes this gap. And that's why I, oh, you hear me saying it all the time. We buy the gaps. We buy the gaps. And we did this morning. And, bec or, and because I bought that, I'm holding over $20,000 in open trade profit on this. And there's people out there scratching their head and thinking, how did Bob Baran know to do that? Well, I didn't know anything about the coronavirus vaccine. I just followed an algorithm. But the algorithm senses insider buying, and that's what's going on. Okay.
I'm I'm just I'm so pleased about this. I'm just so pleased how things are working. And uh so I you know, some people think I'm bragging. I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to make you understand how trading works. Most people will see a gap like this and they'll try to sell it. Don't do that. It may be an insider buying gap and you want, if you don't know why this thing jumped up, if you don't know why it's going higher, buy it. You can find out later why it's going higher. That's what I did today and I'm holding $20,000 in open trade because of it. Just a great feeling. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Trader Bob's happy. We closed out over $11,000 today, and I'm holding almost $30,000 on open trade. Nothing could be better. You guys have a great evening. I'll be back here tomorrow trading as usual on Wednesday.